When I read history, when people said never again, that I am sitting watching those horrifying images alongside a man who has seen the ultimate in the disregard of humanity in his lifetime. And what is probably more insulting than having to look at those images over and over again is for him to think in his mind that I thought they said never again. It's for him to think in his heart that he has to sit on a panel looking in to this horrific act at Camp Ashraf. And I think to myself, on my placard is, if I want to listen to English, I turn to number one. If I want to listen in French, I turn to number two. If I want to listen in Farsi, I turn to number three. When are we going to listen in the universal channel of all people, humanity, I've said it before, when Martin Niemöller spoke about the Holocaust, said first they came for the Jews, and I was not a Jew, so I did not speak out. And then they came for the gypsies, and I was not a gypsy, so I did not speak out. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did, wasn't a trade unionist, so I did not speak out. And then they came, and they came, and then they came for me. And no one was left to speak out. You see an American in front of you. But most importantly, you see a fellow human being who's saying that I may not be from Iran. I may not look like the majority of people in this room. But I am a human being, and as a human being, I'm outraged by what I have seen in Camp Ashraf. How did this happen? Well, E.D. Wiesel will tell you how it happens, but I will tell you how I think this happened. Instead of calling Ashrafis human beings, we called them terrorists. Then it makes it possible for you to attack them. It's time we delist 